What's up guys, Swaggy back. Today we're talking about the Sacramento Kings. My video from yesterday, YouTube has been messing with it, taking some of it down. So if you guys could drop a like for me, I'd greatly appreciate it. Let's try to hit as many Kings fans as we can. So I wanna address a comment that somebody left and it was this very angry person saying that, how come you're making a video on the Kings when all of a sudden they start to win? And the first thing I thought of is that, well, for one, someone asked me to, that's a Kings fan. But secondly, I'm a Knicks fan, right? The reason why I can relate to Kings fans so much, because this is only my third video on them ever. You know, I make NFL videos, but the reason why I just have fallen in love with making these Kings videos is not because you guys are the three seed. It's just because you have made the playoffs in 16 seasons. You know, the Knicks, we haven't made the finals since 1973. We haven't been out of the second round since, what, 1999? These are two teams that we've suffered, man. You know, you know how rough it was being a Knicks fan, bro? You know, all throughout high school, we didn't make the playoffs a single time. Are you kidding me? The Knicks stink, but this season they've turned it around. They finally are in the right direction. The Sacramento Kings, there was a point in time where fans were writing off De'Aaron Fox. And I'm not saying like diehard Kings fans because they knew what he was always about. But a lot of people were saying that you know, the Kings should trade De'Aaron Fox. And look, he's transformed into a superstar. You guys traded Halliburton for DeMontis Sabonis, and that worked out in your favor. I mean, Sabonis, he's always been a fan favorite of mine, the way he just can kind of effortlessly get to the basket and just do moves and score at will. He's also a fantastic rebounder. I believe he's over 12 a game, and then we know that he has triple doubles as well. He was one assist away in the last game against OKC. The addition of Kevin Herter, Malik Monk, Drafting Davion Mitchell a couple of seasons ago, what he's done as a defender, but even improving as a jump shooter, he was three of seven against OKC from the three point line, which is fantastic. The Kings overall, they have so much depth, and it's not about their defense because they are the 25th defensive team in terms of rating. But in the fourth quarter, they're one of the best defensive teams in the league. They get the stops that they're supposed to, that they need. And on top of that, their starting lineup isn't bad defensively. It's just their bench is, and they don't have that rim protector. Now, Jalen Williams was 8 of 14 from the field inside of the three-point line. The majority of those came in the paint. That's the Kings' one weakness is they don't have any rim protection. And in a seven-game series, teams will look to exploit that. But you know, defense is a collective effort everyone is going to have to be locked in and the kings as long as they can just play serviceable defense and continue to be great down the stretch of games i don't have any issues with them because offensively this is a special special team i mean sabonis 22 13 and 9 he also gave you a block as well herder had 20 and 9 he's a guy who he's starting to show that he's more than just a spot up shooter right the most interesting thing though came from harrison barnes who had 29 points on 8 of 13 shooting. He was also 9 of 10 from the free throw line. I mean, Barnes, he has 15 games as a king where he scored at least 25 points on 13 or less field goal attempts, which is the most in Kings history. And it has me thinking that you know, going out and getting players that you believe in goes a long way. The Kings felt that way about Harrison Barnes, and they felt that when they drafted Davion Mitchell, right? And they drafted Keegan Murray, who had another double-double, who was just completely broken out i mean he's only a rookie but he's he's showing more every single game that he can you know get steals he can get boards and he's just a great player man i'm gonna be honest with you he's a great great player and the kings are lucky to have this guy on their roster and you know moving forward for the kings is just what's this team ceiling because they were one and four entering the game against okc without De'Aaron fox they ended up picking up a win and they got production just overall it's truly just you know remarkable how this team has been able to do this, like bringing you know, Mike Brown and leading you guys to the three seed. And it's not even just excitement. It's just about the process and taking this one step at a time. The Kings truly have some something good going on and the league's starting to recognize it. And if you're a Kings fan, that has to feel great. Like, you know, don't get it twisted, bro. You know, don't trip over it. I mean, the Knicks, you know, we don't get talked about a lot. I know that sounds crazy because we're in New York City and, and things like that. But, you know, nobody's respectfully talking about the Knicks. It's talking about the Knicks is like a dumpster fire. But now teams are like recognizing the Knicks. Teams are recognizing the Kings. I can't wait to play you guys on Thursday on TNT, man. It's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to just you know, talk shit being real with you guys respectfully and stuff. But yeah, that's going to be a great game, man. But you know, the Kings, this is not the end for them. It's not just going to be the team that finishes the three seed and gets knocked out in the first round by... The number six seed clippers or something not nah, like the kings are as good as anyone they can beat anyone and 
you know, we've seen that in full display the past couple of weeks. They're not afraid of anyone. They're not ducking any smoke. De'Aaron Fox, whenever this guy's on the court, you know, good things are likely to happen. I mean, I'm looking at a guy who has just, he's gone from a star level player to a superstar. I mean, you know, De'Aaron Fox is averaging over uh, 25 a game this season, guys, six assists, four rebounds. He's shooting 51.5% from the field and led next to him is Sabonis, who's averaging about 19 and 12 to go with seven assists, 61.4% from the field. You guys have the star power, you have the coach, you have the role players, you have the depth. The next question is, can the Kings continue to build upon this? Can they get to a different level? Can they make a run at the Western Conference? And the answer to that is going to be determined by health. Truly, I mean, if this team can just stay healthy on the court, we know that they've grown together. I mean, this is a really tight group. We've seen that in full display. Everyone's just contributing. It's not about one guy. And it's always next man up. I mean, you know, Davion Mitchell, what he did, scoring 15 points and playing just elite level defense, starting for the injured Fox, is, is a lot of fun. I mean, it's going to be cool covering this team. And yeah, I just can't thank you guys enough for the support. The last video that I made, you know, YouTube ended up, you know, copywriting it and, and making me like take some of it down and it hurt because, you know, Kings fans are still watching it to this very minute and I'm not even making it for money, bro. It's like always about money to these companies, bro. Like I'm just trying to talk to Kings fans and try to get you guys some content and show love and, and unfortunately, you know, we have to remake it, but you know, I'm gonna keep making these, bro, whether I get, you know, money, money or not, guys, I just appreciate you so much. Kings fans for the likes I and mean, you guys have been giving me some of the most likes on my channel. So I'm gonna keep making these, bro, no matter what. And like I said, I'll see you guys on Thursday. Maybe I'll go live. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that and me going live and, you know, Knicks, Kings, bro. That would be a lot of fun, guys. I think I'm gonna have to do it, bro. Being real with you. But yeah, let's try to get this. If we can get this to a thousand likes, bro, I'll go live. and Maybe I'll even have some Kings fans join in. And I mean, that'd be cool. But yeah, guys.